What's up guys? What's going on? Commander Vlogs here. So I was looking for some sugar-free sauces for chicken and I found this right here. This uh, G. Hughes sugar-free teriyaki marinade. We're gonna give this a shot. Supposedly it's gonna make it like, you know, less calories, less fat, all that good stuff, less sodium. It says uh, no artificial preservatives, no high uh, fructose corn syrup. Look at that, look at the back, it says five calories. It's looking pretty good. Let's see if it tastes good. So we're gonna go ahead and do a review on this. I'm gonna put my chicken in this dish right here. We'll marinate it and throw it in the oven. So, basically we just crack open this plastic here. And start loading the dish up with chicken. Just like that. I'm gonna try to get this all in the dish. Giving it a shot anyway. Let's see if we can get it all in there. Like that, boom. It's all in there in the dish. We will be throwing that away. And we gotta open this. There we go. I'll maybe shake it. I don't know if we should shake it, maybe. Possibly, all right, here we go. Put that sucker in there. Now this is a thinner sauce. The other glaze is more thicker. Um, so, I don't know why it's so thin. My experience with the thinner sauces is like it seems to burn in the oven. Uh, I put it in for an hour and 20 minutes, so. Remember, hopefully that doesn't happen here today. I'm gonna save a little bit, just a little bit to, uh, cause when I flip my chicken, I can put a little bit on the other side once it's flipped. Right. So that's what we're now gonna we get our chicken there. I'm gonna toss this in the oven. Maybe I should do a pose for the thumbnail. Let's try that. Good thumbnail? Okay. <laughs> put that in the, th in the thumbnail. Put that in the thumbnail, <laughs> the oven. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and cook preheat to 350. Not really preheating, I just throw it in there. And I, I put it for 350, I put it for an hour and 20, and I flip it at least one time. Try to flip it more than once, but you know, sometimes you forget. As long as you flip it at least once, it's gonna be pretty good. Now we're gonna try it again with the quinoa. The last time I messed up, I think I put too much water or something, and then I walked away and I came back like 20, 30 minutes later, there was quinoa everywhere. And the water did not evaporate. It was just like a bunch of the quinoa was still just soaked in this puddle of water in there. And I don't think that was right. I think the water is supposed to evaporate and disappear. And the quinoa is supposed to expand and that's it. Anyway, so I think I put too much water. I don't know. Uh, we're gonna try this again. I got my measuring cup here. My measuring cup goes to, uh, let's see here. I think the whole thing is one cup. All the way up is one cup, so here we go. There. Sometimes, sometimes you gotta get mean with things to get it open. Anyway, we got the tri-colored quinoa again. We're gonna try this one cup all the way up. Looks like bird seed. A little quinoa ASMR. Close enough, I think. Uh, one cup of quinoa. Put it in there. Now, look on the back, see what the directions say. Two cups of water. Wait, that's not it. <laughs> Should be thoroughly rinsed to remove product residue. See, I didn't even do that the last time. Uh, combined water. One cup of quinoa to two cups of water. Okay. So I got the cup of quinoa. You know, I can rinse it. I can try to rinse it. I'm gonna use bottled water though for the whole process. All right. So I got a bottle of water. I'm gonna try to rinse it a little bit. I don't know. I guess I'll just go with my hand like that to the sink. I don't know. Yeah, I think that worked pretty good. Now, 
two cups of water for one cup of quinoa. So here we go. Try to get this off the side. Okay. I'm gonna go a little less because I know I still have like some water that it kind of soaked in there. So that should be about two cups of water in there now. Should be. Hopefully that that works. <laughs> okay. Put that there. There we go. Then we'll put our frozen veggies in there. Right in the top there. See there's our, our quinoa in there. And then we'll put that down. We'll go frozen veggies on top there here this bag right here california style vegetable mix i throw that up in there see if it's easy to open it is easy to open nice Let's throw that in there kind of get it to break up a little bit perfect and i think we're ready to get this thing working that basically the water underneath will steam the veggies up top and the quinoa is supposed to like boil and then expand and the water is supposed to be gone theoretically that's what's supposed to happen anyway i'm gonna put it in a time lapse so you guys can watch the magic happen here we go All right, guys, I noticed something. You see the lights right there? It just went from cooked to warm on its own. And uh, there's not quinoa over, all over the place. <laughs> so I think everything has been done correctly this time. And I think it's going to work out great. Let's see. Mm. Yeah, I don't know how, how you're supposed to do that. Ooh, it's hot. Very hot. I want to get this uh, lifted up so I can look. Maybe I go like, I got an idea, I'll go like this. There. Wow. Hey, look. I think it looks pretty good, guys. I wonder if I should have put any oil in there because it's almost like it's sticking. Almost, not really. See? There it is. Looks good, huh? And then and there's the veggies. Good to go, I think. Hell yeah. Okay, guys. I'm about halfway through cooking. Almost halfway. Um, let's see here. It's an hour and 20 minutes of cooking. There's 41 minutes left. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, flip the chicken. Flip each piece onto the opposite side. Mmm, smells pretty good. Yummy, sugar free teriyaki chicken. The oven is hot. Okay really feel the heat okay then we'll put some more of that uh g Hughes sugar-free teriyaki marinade sauce over the top sugar-free i hope it tastes good i'm sure it will we'll find out here in a little bit it smells good that up in there and it's gonna go for another 40 minutes guys there we go okay guys chicken is done we're gonna pull it out of the oven here here we go 
Oh yeah, look at that. Woo. Okay. Rah. Okay, there's our chicken. All right guys, I'm starving. I'm gonna dish up now. Get some of this chicken and veggies and quinoa. Let's go. Okay. Chicken in here. Mm, it's gonna be yummy. Probably about that much is good. It's a little bit. Put the rest for later, and I'm gonna pack some for lunch. Okay. Yum. Looks good. Okay, now I gotta get some quinoa. Let me move this out of the way. Let me get to the quinoa. Okay. So we have our quinoa, we have our veggies. I'm probably gonna load up with some salad. We got butter lettuce. This right here. Look at that. A little bit of cheese. We have our light Caesar dressing for salad. And we have our Bragg's coconut liquid aminos for our uh, quinoa. Just like soy sauce. And that is a good meal. All right, I'm gonna tell you what I think of this chicken real quick. Mm. Yeah, I'd say I really like that uh, sugar-free teriyaki sauce. It works pretty good. Tastes good. Mm, mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. All right, guys, smash that like, subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to go ahead and eat this and share it out, guys. Please share on social media, YouTube community, wherever you guys can, Facebook, Twitter. Thank you, guys. Peace out. Have a good day.